Hello everyone, we are back with another full self-driving in New York, Long Island suburb. As you guys can see, my car just get out from my driveway and making that left turn perfectly. As you can see, there are some parked car here and there. So our car have to avoid those car, did it perfectly without any hesitation. It was in the right side at the very first moment. And whenever it saw a right a parked car on the right side, it moved to the left side a little bit and park and uh, keep driving. Very good there. So we're gonna make a right turn. Are you a Tesla FSD beta tester? Stop scrolling. The FSD beta bumper magnet is a must have. This sleek durable magnet clearly signals that your Tesla is in self-driving mode. It's easy to apply, easy to remove, and the perfect accessories for embracing the future of autonomous driving. Don't miss out. Grab yours on Amazon today. Right over here. On this stop sign, as you can see, there are a few cars coming from our left side. And we can proceed. There's like so much space on the left side, but the car was very cautious about it. And it doesn't want to, you know, like a move. Uh, let's see how the car do things here. So we can now, but because those cars are on the other, other lane, we can just immediately make a right turn and stay on that lane. But we are just stuck here for a long time because there are a few cars coming. And now after this uh, white truck, our car should proceed. As you guys can see, the car is proceeding pretty nice there. Took a little bit of time there. And, you know, think about the situation, what the car should do and should it not do, you know, like, and then proceed. Um, I'm not going to say it's a bad thing. You always have to be cautious when you are a robot taxi or something like that. And the car did it perfectly. So we're going to go straight and we have to change the lane and move to our left side, left lane, because we're going to march. We're going to march into this road in this stop sign. So we'll see um how far the car goes straight and change the lane because we I, as a driver personal driver i should i prefer to change the lane earlier as the car did right now because sometimes the car change lane at the very last moment but today the car changed the lane at the perfect time uh, there, there are some bumps, but the car seems to be not aware of that and we are completely missing it yeah wow interesting right because if you just watch my previous video if you just go to my channel watch my previous video the car knows how to do this route it merges it changes the lane and it merges there but today unfortunately for some reason it was just following that white car and completely missed that and we're making a left turn it's just increasing the time a little bit because this is not a mistake that you know like caused some dangerous movement or something like that but it is something that is um it, it just increased the time so we can definitely go to our destination by just going through a different route but my initial thing is you can just easily merge on that uh, road and then go. And as you can see, we can just make a left here and make a right and immediately go to our destination. But it is taking a longer route. We're, we're going to see how the car decide to do things here. This is not always stop sign. So it's just creeping and it is just proceeding right now. There are a few other parked car here. Our car is going slow. Immediately move to the right side because we're going to make a left, side, left turn. And there is another truck coming from the opposite side. We are making this left right now. <clears throat> so we'll find out how the car thing do things here because there is a situation where then because of the sun the car can't uh, see properly and because of that it almost hit a fence in my previous video um so we're gonna make a left turn this is always stop sign the car immediately make that left turn and we're gonna make a right turn after that uh let's see how the car handles things here it is doing it perfectly. I'm going to change the destination to our home because I want to see how the car handles that exact narrow road. We're going to make a left turn here and we have to be very slow because this is a very narrow road. As you can see, the car is doing it perfectly without any problem and it keep, keeps a uh, very good space today. Normally, it doesn't keep... Oh my God, it was very close to that... Um, uh, the sedan parked over there but our car uh we're gonna see there is some garbage can over there the car should 
uh, you know, proceed without any problem. Very good job there. So what I was saying, uh, when uh, I make like previous video in this exact road, the car always like very close to that uh, barrier or the fence. But this time today is very interesting. It makes some space to the right, right side of the car and immediately make that left turn perfectly. So we're going to make a right turn here, as you can see. Uh, there is a truck coming, the car makes it a space and proceed without any problem. Pretty good. I'm not, I'm not complaining anything about, just, I'm just saying like the car should have been done this, uh, when it was navigating on that route, but it is what it is, guys. We have to deal with this. By the way, this is version 12.3.6. Yes. Unfortunately, I didn't get the version yet. 12.5.2 or 12.5.3, whatever it is. Okay, very good job. Uh, it is stuck there. It is stuck here it's still. It shouldn't proceed at the very last first moment because when you are seeing there are cars more like coming from your side, left side, and you have to march into that road, you shouldn't proceed at the very first place. But the car proceed, I was just thinking what the car will gonna do. So I was just giving it a space, but the thing it does is it was just stuck there and give those, uh, give those car a little time to, you know, like move. And we're, I'm going to make a U-turn. I just took over because I'm going to make a U-turn and we're, we're going to find out that what our car does here one more time. So let's see. So we're going to go the same route one more time and we're going to see how the car does things here. I just turned on FSD and we'll find out if this time the car can navigate us on that route or this time it just failed. So let's let's find out, right guys? So we are stuck in this red light. The light just changed. We are moving. We should change the lane after we pass this green barrier here. And uh, we're going to find out, right? Again, the bump, the car didn't see it, uh, goes over it. Should change the lane now. Should it? Should change the lane. Yes. I just took over because there is no sign of, you know, like there is no sign of changing the lane. So that's why I just want to... Uh, you have to merge in this uh, road, but unfortunately, you are just navigating to a different route. That's why I took uh, took over. Thank you. So I just uh, reported that because this is a certain situation with the car, this exact road. Out of five times, three times it did it, two times it fails. I don't know why, because you are in a correct lane. You just have to change the lane and make a merging lane change, right? But unfortunately, every single time we are trying to do it, the car is, it is trying to park here because our destination is almost over. Okay, 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 pretty good. Okay, because I changed the destination, the car started moving pretty nice there. So let's see how the left turn happens here. The car slows down. Pretty good. Okay, yeah, it has a space this time too. Uh, no problem with that. Again, it has a space on the left side this time too. And we have uh, two garbage uh, can on the road. We're going to see how the car handles. The car is going pretty slow. 13. I appreciate that because this is a road. This is very narrow road where there could be other cars coming from the opposite side. There could be double parked cars. So you should be slow and cautious. So we're going to make a left turn. There are some bicyclists here. We're going to see how the car react. We're going to make a right turn. We're definitely going to see how the car does things here. We're going to make a right turn. As you can see, there are no other cars coming from left and right. The car did it perfectly without any problem. Pretty nice there. So as you guys can see, two times out of two times, the car failed to navigate on that exact road where the car did it so many times. Exact software version, exact road, exact situation. Even the car was in the left lane. It just had to change another lane and go straight. But this time, the car did it. Didn't do that. Right? Two out of two time out of two time, the car fell. So let's go fast and let's see how the car handles this situation. 
perfectly changed the lane a little slow when the car the truck was coming i saw you have so much space but the car was like going a little slow and you know like hesitating a little bit to change the lane but it is what it is guys it did it perfectly without any problem that's the main thing i just want to mention there so we are going straight let's find out how the car handles this one right guys So our car is changing lane to follow our route because we have to make a left turn. So we are maintaining our left lane because we're going to make a left turn after this green light. Let's see how the car handles this uh, double YOLO lane situation. As you guys can see, we have to get into this YOLO lane, wait for our opposite side to be cleared, and then we can make this left turn. The car is getting into this lane perfectly without any hesitation, any confusion. Now we are waiting, pretty nice, creeping very slowly, like now we are completely stopped. But we had a space, but the car doesn't want to do a left turn pretty fast. So it just, you know, like uh, giving more space right now. And after this red light, we should definitely proceed. As you can see, the car proceed perfectly without any problem. Thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate that. And thank you, thank you, thank you for loving my videos. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. and We're, we're going to find out. When we get this latest software, we're going to see how the car handles this two human being. Uh, we're going to see very good uh, that red car give us a space. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And thank you for watching, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.